got a surprise for you. Well, first, I gotta say, um, one little tidbit. You notice I'm holding my head real funny? Because, look. Blair. Oh, you can see my screen. The reason is, um, I tried to block it with something and put it up in front of the screen. And, mm -mm. and then I realized I couldn't see what I was doing to make sure that I was in the frame for the lens. And that was not going to work with this video. So I figured we'll just have to deal with a little bit of freaky lens glare reflections from the laptop. Um, it's been a long day, as you can see. I'm exhausted. Uh, everything hair pulled back, no makeup. But I really wanted to do this because I've been so excited. So excited. And I couldn't wait one more minute. So I'm doing this now. Because look what I have in my hot little hand. Does anyone else say that, by the way? Just out of curiosity. I don't know. It's like some sort of phrase I picked up, up in New York when I was younger. And I, I don't know. I don't know. Anywho. Okay, look, look, look. See it? See it? See that? See that? See that? See that? Where's that? See that? Fortune cookie. So, and it's a winter soapbox. Why is my screen doing this really weird thing? Oh, it stopped. Okay. Doing this really weird blinky thingy. Must be I was too close to the lens. Maybe I was making it auto adjust. I don't know. Anyways, it's the that said, old fashioned family Christmas winter soapbox that is themed like, in case you couldn't guess, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. So, so excited. <sighs> Shall we? Can you imagine? I can't. I'm just so excited to see what's in here. Beyond excited. Okay. Are you ready? Are you ready? You ready? Here we go. way and then I'll try to tip it without spilling it and I have to bend the box really hard here I'll try oh my god something already smells fantastic here I am trying really hard not to tip everything out but to show you how it comes still okay Is that good okay so adorable card and um, the winter launch party for this collection is November 21st at 6.30 p.m. on Facebook. Your fortune cookie soap on Facebook. And your um, soapbox things come with a code. It's underneath of my finger because it's like a one-time use. And this is mine, not yours. But uh, you can use the code. See right there. Use the code to save $10 on your next order. This code is like money's. Okay, so we're gonna hold on to this while I uh, go through the, the box of goodies here. Shall we just start right at the top? Here, yeah, good little close up here. Should we just start right at that top one and work our way throughout the whole shebang? I think so. Okay, so what I'm looking for first is a little jar, I believe it's this one, and it's Moose Mug Cuticle Butter. Well, now, now, listen here, now, you, but this is not labeled. So I'm going to have to make an assumption here that this is it because it looks like everything else in the box is in fact labeled. But it's just a plain little... Nothing on the top, nothing on the bottom. Okay. Moose Mug Cuticle Butter. Can I refill your eggnog? Rich cream, egg, and a touch of nutmeg. Okay. Okay, I'm not sure what I expected from cuticle butter, 
but it wasn't this. This is like very, very, very solid. Focus. Focus. I'm trying to get you to see nuances here. Okay, it's like very solid. Um, it reminds me, okay, well, when I touch it, it's not very solid. It kind of melting into me now. Um, I guess it smells like eggnog. I definitely smell cream, but I think it could have really used a lot more nutmeg or maybe even a little touch of cinnamon to it. But let me rub a little. This is perfection because I've been having this problem this year. Let me see if I can find a good one to show you as an example. Hmm. I guess maybe this one. Please forgive me for the finger I'm about to show you. I've been having this problem this winter already with the dry cuticles going on. Do you see it? Do you see all that dry right there? The dry skin and flaky. So this will come in quite handy. Let's put a little right on there and we'll do a quick comparison. I'll just rub it in. It's very smooth and very silky. But it actually feels like a cuticle oil once I've got it on my finger melting. Someone is blowing up my Facebook because I can hear my phone going ding, 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 ding for the messenger sound over there. I know who you are and I'll be with you in a moment. All of you because it's a group chat. It's, it's my... My paranormal investigating game. Okay. We went out last night and had a interesting time. That does already look much better. I do, I do quite like this, even if I'm not particularly a huge fan of the scent itself. Alright, moving on. Oh, I just noticed in here, in this box. Okay, you've got the usual stringy thingies. White. But they've also got these, I hope it picks it up, these really bomb iridescent ones. You see it? Yes, they are. Like little rainbowy icicles. Very nice. Okay, so the next thing on the list is Meli Kaliki Maka. It has taken me forever to figure out how to say that word. Or I should say that phrase. Meli Kaliki Maka is basically how the Hawaiians say Merry Christmas. And if this is an OCD hand sanitizer. And I'm so excited. I actually have two I bought from the um, the fall collection, uh, not the Beetlejuice one, but the one that was the Wizard of Oz themed, um, which please, I had bought two of those when the launch happened, and I have them here still, and I have the one I got in my fall box, which I recorded a video and I don't think I ever posted it, because life happened, and it just, out of my mind. But I have that at work, and it's, I've noticed it's starting to get low. It's, like, down here. So, this is very nice to have. First, I've got to say I love the color of this. It is electric blue, and it reminds me of, like, a blue Hawaiian wine cooler sort of drink. And it's got the label upon the front. Melikilikimaka is the thing to say. Okay, this says, with visions of swimming pools dancing in your head. That does look like perfect swimming pool water, doesn't it? Can you dive into that? Tropical spiced rum, Tahitian vanilla, sprinkled with jasmine petals and twisted wood. Okay, well, with the first two, they really had me because I was like, okay, this is starting to sound like some kind of alcoholic beverage. But let's have a sniffy. Oh my god. God, that is the best thing I've smelled in a long time. I wish I could smell a vision it to you. It is, it smells like vacation. It really does. It smells like a tropical drink and tropical foods and tropical air breezes and the jasmine is subtle, and the woods are subtle. It just smells like a beach. I love it. I love it. I love it so much I don't want to put it down, but I will. 
Okay, next is the Tis the Season to be Merry Fortune Cookie Soap. Buy this for your wife, God rest her soul. A hint of sweet almond with warm swirls of tobacco. I'm not so sure about this. I'm not a smoker. And I'm just not sure. I'm just not not quite with you on this one, Fortune Cookie Soap. So, we'll see. I was like, where did my fortune go? But it's in there. It's in there. It's hiding. It's in there. Okay, so this is like a... Pretty much a plain red. Uh, it's got a little bit of like a... A opalescent shimmer to it. But it is opaque. Hmm. I believe I can smell the swirls of tobacco, but they're not overpowering, which is good. And I can smell the almond, which I don't know if some of you know this already or not, but almond actually kind of smells like cherry a lot. So that's actually a very interesting little scent here. So we shall see how that works out for me. Next up is the Sparky Hydrate Me. Before I, well, let me go ahead and read the thing. Um. We dedicate this to the FCS Family Christmas. Drum roll, please. Okay. And it says, Scrumptious Vanilla Pumpkin Waffles. Oh, I don't even like pumpkin, but that sounds good. Topped with brown sugar. Yum. Pecans. Yum. And sheets of fresh whipped cream. Yummity, yummity, yum. Now, they were doing a thing um, where they have sent some lucky person one of these that is completely black. It's glittery black and it's um rusty's blown bulb <laughs> and if you got rusty's blown bulb you won a 50 dollar gift card sad to say i did not <laughs> for me mine is just a plain old hydrate me um it actually kind of looks like it has gotten a little squishy in its bag which is to be expected um but i am in the south so it's a little warmer here so I'll probably pop this into the fridge, let it cool up a little. Chill up, set up. Dang, that smells good though. This smells fine. So, let me pull out my finger. Very moisturizing, very silky. It really does smell good. It reminds me of something out of the Witch Please one. But I don't remember exactly which one. I think it was the whipped cream I had. Um... So this you use actually in the shower or bath or whatever um, to hydrate your skin and that will be great with this winter coming and like I already showed you my cuticles are going bad so is the rest of me <laughs> pretty much. Alright, oh now we're onto the whipped cream and there are three cents, no four cents, four cents that you could possibly get. There is Squirrel, a festive blend of apples, sun-ripened strawberries, and plums dancing with zests of orange and a splash of lime. Jelly of the Month Club, succulent strawberries, sweet vanilla sugar, and a sticky syrup with a squeeze of orange. Jello Surprise, festive plum with a zesty curl of citrus, all wrapped up pretty like with winter orchid and soft sandalwood. And bend over and I'll show you. Tart cranberry, crisp pine, an herbal spruce warmed by clove and a splash of sweet mandarin orange. They all sound pretty good. I guess maybe any of the first three. I'm not a huge fan of pine scents. So, I'm sure that's the one I've gotten. <laughs> Let's see what it is. The whipped cream? That's the whipped cream. Let me pull it out. Oh, Jelly of the Month Club. That's actually the one I was kind of secretly hoping it would be. Um, that's the one that's succulent strawberry, sweet vanilla sugar, and sticky syrup with a squeeze of orange. And that's a jelly of the month club. Am I seeing that right? I guess I am. It's like a purpley pink color. You see? Yes, I am. Do you see it? Can you see how purpley pink it is? Okay. So anyways, let's uh, 
Oh, here, maybe this will be better. Whoa, too close to the lens, sorry about that. See the purpley pinkness of it? So let's, uh, I haven't ripped it yet, let's give it a healthy puff here. A little healthy puff. Okay, we're gonna put that on, that on this side of the hand, opposite from where I rubbed the Hydrate Me residue. Oh my goodness, this, this smells like strawberry jelly, but it also smells like the strawberry syrup you can put on waffles and stuff at, like, I hop and things, which is hysterical because that's totally what I had for breakfast this morning. Not I hop. I had pancakes with the strawberry syrupy stuff on them, and they were delicious. I'm going to love that to death, I'm sure. All right. Next is, I pledge allegiance, amen, shower steamer. A brisk and outdoorsy blend of blue spruce and balsam fir, fresh mint, and garden herbs. We've already established not a huge uh, fir tree, pine tree, evergreen fan. I do like mint, too. So, I I actually have some of these hydrate meats. Or not hydrate meats. These are shower steamers. Um, they're actually called Steam Me Up Scotty on the website, which is hysterical. But I have some of these in the Cold Buster ones, and I have the ones that have the lavender in them. And I've used them multiple times, and they're excellent and awesome and perfection. So I'm pretty excited to try another new one. Let me see if I can get a little sniff here. It's hard to uh, show you the inside of this, but I'll try. It looks like snow. It really does. It's like kind of, um, it's a block, but it's kind of crumbly like a styrofoam almost. So it will melt underneath of the water and fizz up. And it is a little rough on this one side. Oh. Okay, wait a minute. Blue spurs, balsam for refreshment and garden herbs. I smell the mint immediately. And I smell something else underneath, but I can't quite pinpoint what it is exactly. I'm not sure if it is the spruce or the herbs. But it is not as offensive as I was prepared for it to be. Because, you know, I don't like pine scented. Now I can't put it back the way it was. Oh no, I've messed it up now. Guys, why don't you let me do that for? messed it all up. All right, there. It's some semblance of back together. Okay, next is <clears throat> fried pussycat whipped soap. Because who doesn't want to smell like fried pussycat? Juicy plum and whipped caramel wrapped in artisan bourbon, vanilla, and jasmine blossoms. This sounds like it's going to smell delicious. Okay, and it's whipped soap. This is new. This is different. But the different, I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm gonna have to try and see if I like. That's weird. That's really look at <laughs> all that jar for all that little teeny bit of soap. What's up with that fortune cookie soap company? Hmm. Hmm. My thing's flashing again, weird. I thought that this would have more in it, but maybe it's because there is... It, it's so concentrated that it doesn't need to be. But it smells really good, actually. For some reason, I've never actually eaten plums, but I love the smell of them. And the bourbon vanilla smells good, too. Okay. Last thing... The Christmas Bonus Deep Conditioner. It's their third annual mystery fragrance. There are no hints on here. And there's a $50 gift certificate up for grabs. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sniff it. And I'm going to tell you if I like it or if I don't like it. But I'm not going to tell you what I think it smells like. Because I want that $50 gift certificate, yo. Okay, it's a deep conditioner. Yeah. See, 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 see. Okay.
Hmm. I do like it. I was, I'm sorry, I was so busy trying to figure out what it smelled like that I completely lost track of what I was doing for a minute. I do like it. Very much so. Um, I can't tell you why I like it so much because that might give something away. But yeah, I do like it. And I'm going to attempt to uh, win this puppy. So we'll see what I come up with. Maybe I can use this and then go to work with it, still like smelling in my hair, and see what everybody at work with says. Because they may unknowingly give me some sort of, your hair smells like, fill in the blank type of comment. And see if I can pinpoint exactly what sort of thing it is. Best guess. So I just have to, I don't have to be 100% accurate. I just have to be better than everybody else. <laughs> All right, no, no pressure or anything, right? So, that was exciting. I'm a little sad it's over. Let's see what we got in the box here. The last one had little witches in it. This one, oh, that's cute. It has tiny reindeer. Do, 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 do. I shall keep him and call him George. And it has little Merry Christmases. Except that one totally just says Merry Chris. I'm actually not even sure if the I is in there. Do you see that? See it? That does not say Christmas. It says Merry Chest, actually, it looks like. Anyways, I maybe can keep some of these goodies in here to put in my Christmas cards. <laughs> Isn't that good? Good idea? Yeah? No? Bad idea? I thought it was a good idea. Oh, hey, I've got more things. Oh, look, a snowflake. Do you think that if someone sent you a Christmas card and you opened it and all of these little funfetti things came flying out would you be mad at them because they sent you a bunch of funfetti that you have to clean up or would you think oh that's cute here we go we have a full Merry Christmas now Merry Christmas the eye is tiny but it's there so that is it for me. Thank you, Fortune Cookie Soap Box Company. Even though I paid for this, it's like 19 bucks, something right now. But thank you for being so diligently on time. It actually seems like this one came a lot faster than the last one did. It was like, oh, they're shipping it? Oh, it's here? <laughs> I actually expected this either tomorrow or Saturday, so I was very excited to see it today. Um, so thank you, Fortune Cookie Soap Company, for being awesome, and thank all of you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.